Hey everyone, Mama Meg's here. So I just left my favorite place on the planet, Aldi. And it was actually the perfect time to go because if anybody's ever gone to Aldi on a Saturday, which today is Saturday, they know that everybody and their mom is at Aldi. Well, today, the Chiefs, I live in uh, Kansas City, and the Chiefs are playing the Colts for some big playoffs game. Not a huge sports fan. Still love my Chiefs though. Go Chiefs. So I knew that's the perfect time to go grocery shopping. So went there and there was literally like three other customers in the store, which like I said, if you're a regular Aldi shopper, that's ridiculously awesome. So I'm going to share with you what I got. Um, this is for a family of three for a week. And this will include breakfast, lunches, dinners. Um, I pack, I have my 12 year old, so I pack her lunch every day for school and I pack my lunch for work and my husband as well. So let's go through and I will show you what I've got here. So right away we've got typical just bread to make some sandwiches. I've got some hamburger buns. I'm going to make sloppy joes with those. Um, some eggs just for breakfast and just baking and whatnot. These my husband loves. I actually usually get the um, mixed nuts, but he eats the cashews so fast that it ends up just being almonds. And so I'll just take these cashews and mix them back in as mixed nuts. And then um, he can just snack on those as well. And then I actually, I didn't want to go to the store by myself, so I had to bribe my 12 year old to go with me. So she bought these. That was her treat. I usually let her pick something that's $5 or less. So she picked chocolate milk and these little mini chocolates. We've got some milk. Um, the 12 year old's the only one that drinks that, so just a half gallon for the week is fine. I was out of my freezer gallon bag, so I got some of those. These are gonna go with our Sloppy Joes, and then I'm also making wings one night, so we'll have those as well with the wings. These, uh, the little one wanted to try for breakfast, just some sandwiches. These I'm going to make some mashed potatoes with. I actually love using these golden potatoes to make my mashed potatoes because you don't have to use as much butter. They're really kind of buttery in themselves and they just blend up, or not blend, but mix up so well and smooth and creamy. So we're out of mayo, so I got some of that. And I always like to have teriyaki sauce on hand for a quick stir fry if I'm in a rush. So I was out, so I got some of that. This was a new product I saw that I definitely want to try. It's obviously almond milk. I don't like milk, so I just drink almond milk. And I haven't seen one that was like this. And it's not too bad. 35 calories, which I'll probably only use one tablespoon. It does have five grams of sugar. And it's all added sugar. So you know that that's kind of like the bad stuff, which isn't the best, but... Then we got these. Um, we tried these a couple weeks ago and my daughter really liked them, so I got them again for her lunches. These are my husband's late night treats, oatmeal cream pies. This was one of the bribery items that the little one chose. It's a bad thing about Aldi. You can get a lot of things for under five dollars, so she got a lot of junk. We were just out of vegetable oil. I actually used the last one I was making waffles this morning. I've got these Savorites, which are kind of like Ritz crackers, and I'm actually going to do that with um, some summer sausage and then some cheese. I've got some Colby Jack cheese, and then I bought this smoked Gouda cheese, too, just to do like little um, sausage and cheese and crackers. It's a good snack for my husband to take to work with him that he can just munch on real quick, and it'll give him some calories and stuff to plow through the rest of his day. Bran flakes for breakfast. Just some little snacks, pastry crisp things. These I actually saw on another YouTube channel, so I'm going to try these out. They got pretty good ingredients, just from concentrate and whatnot. No added fake colors or anything like that. So I'm going to give those a little try. So look at that. And then Chex Mix. Those are my husband's favorite. I got some carrots just to kind of munch on for snacks. Um, zucchini, that's just going to go with one of our side dishes. And it's also going to go in a lentil bake that I'm going to make. 
this is just some salad mix that we always get once a week. Some celery, this is for some snacks as well. Bell peppers for some recipes, onions. I got these pitted dates. I'm gonna make some energy balls. So I'm gonna use this and um and I actually got these items right here. We're all from Walmart. So I'm gonna make some energy balls for with the pitted dates, some coconut flakes, some ra cranberry raisins, and then these dark chocolate morsels, and then some oats that I already have. And I was out of my tea, so I got some sleep support tea, which has chamomile and passion flower. Got this from Aldi, some Greek yogurt. I like to put those in my daughter's lunch with some granola. Oh shoot, I got the oats and honey. She wanted the dark chocolate this time. Oops. Some frozen strawberries for smoothies in the morning. And then our meats, just some chicken wings. I didn't really want to get this big of a bag. I wanted to get like one of these, but I didn't have any. I think they were making, a lot of people were probably making wings for the game, which is okay. I'll probably just make another recipe here in the next couple weeks to use those up. I've got two pounds of ground beef. I'm doing Sloppy Joe's with one and then, um, Oh, I'm doing hamburger steaks with the other. It's turkey for sandwiches and then chicken thighs. Those I'm gonna do um, like a honey garlic chicken. So this is actually my meals for the week that I planned out. So we won't probably eat these on the exact day. Um, I might move them around. Like you can see I have Thursday as having chicken wings with fries. And then Friday having sloppy joes with fries. I don't usually like to do fries back to back, but um, so I'll probably just switch those out. But I'm gonna do, like I said, the chicken thighs. I'm gonna use those for that honey garlic chicken. That's a recipe I just found on Pinterest. And I'm just gonna do that with some jasmine rice I already have and some green beans that I already have. And then I'll make hamburger steaks with the beef and then I've got some mushrooms and gravy and then I'll use the onions I bought to make that and the potatoes I bought to make mashed potatoes with that. And then I've got some corn so that will be my side dish. And then um, I'm gonna do my lentil bake and then chicken wings and yeah, sloppy joes. So that's what we're gonna have this coming week. So like I said, this was for a family of three and I spent $136 and then I spent another $15 at Walmart getting a couple things. So about $150, um, I don't think that's too bad. That's typically what I spend is like $140 to $150 a week and um, it's all of our meals. So I mean, sometimes if we go out to eat, you know, it'll be $100 just for one time. So I think this is a pretty good deal and um, I can make a, a lot of the leftovers into new stuff, or I can um, make this lots of snack stuffy and stuff like that. So, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day.